Today, I'm going to review the Cartier Declaration line. Uh, I have tried almost every fragrance from this line, um, and I personally own three bottles, uh, of which you see here, uh, the Cartier Declaration Original from 1998, Cartier Declaration Low, which is the middle bottle, Cartier Declaration Essence on the right hand side. <clears throat> but I've tried, um, as I said, most of the other ones. So I'm just going to get into this review and give you my thoughts on uh, this line from Cartier. I'll start with the original declaration. Um, this bottle right here on the far left. And I have, uh, to, jog, to jog my memory, I've sprayed each of the fragrances that I have um, on, you know, pieces, pieces of cloth. So I, I might take uh, brief pauses to uh, jog my memory. So the OG, it is, in my opinion, it's like the most whimsical from the declaration line. It is quite spicy, but at the same time, it's fresh and it's also a little bit sweet. And the sweetness, in my opinion, comes from the cardamom that's in this. And that cardamom is kind of like the DNA of the Declaration line. Um, some people might just say it's a spicy, uh, a spicy, what do they call that? Um, a spicy accord. But in my opinion, it's the cardamom that really is the foundation of Declaration. And yeah, that cardamom really gives it a little bit of sweetness and if you've ever tried Voyage de Hermes, the Eau de Toilette, that one also has a cardamom note in it too, which gives it a pinch of sweetness and, you know, both fragrances are by the same perfumer, Jean-Claude Elena, so it's not too much of a surprise. I think it's very nice, it's unique, it's very unisex. Uh, I kind of feel like that's the uh, consensus I can give you on all of these fragrances. They're all very unisex. And mind you, I think you should wear whatever you want. I don't really believe in male or female fragrances, but if we're going by the uh, the way perfumers formulate specifically male-targeted and female-targeted smells, female-targeted scents. It doesn't have any, uh, like, musk or anything like that that makes you think, oh, wow, this is very male-targeted or very female-targeted. So that's what I like. I'm a huge fan of more unisex kind of smells. And Cartier Declaration, the original, is very much that. If I had to give it a color, it would be light green. Yeah, light green. And it performs pretty well. It's, it performs long. It's just, I think it's so unique. I like that one a lot. And I don't reach for it that much. As you can see, the bottle is almost completely full. But sometimes I am in the mood for it. But it's just a little bit too spicy for me, so I don't reach for it that much. The one I do reach for most of all in this line is this one right here in the middle, <laughs> Declaration Low. I am a big fan of grapefruit as a note in perfume, and I don't know if that's saying much because I feel like 98% of the fragrances on the market have a grapefruit note, but um, 
you know, most of them are not really my style. I like prefer kind of a juicy, realistic sort of grapefruit note. And this one kind of has that. I'm gonna take a smell real quick. This one, it smells, you can definitely see how Declaration Low is similar to the original. It has, it has carried that DNA over. But there is that citrus in this one. It's not even, it's not even like so distinguishable as grapefruit, the citrus note in Declaration Low. But it, there's definitely citrus in there and that differentiates it from the original. And the spice has been toned down in Declaration Low. The cardamom sweetness has been dialed down. So, hmm, you know, some per someone might call this generic, but it's very pleasant generic. And it's still spicy, but it's like a more wearable spiciness than the original declaration. And it doesn't last as long as the original, but while it does last, it's very pleasant. And I do prefer this one from the whole line the most. Uh, okay, so with Declaration Essence in this bottle, which is an ombre, it's like a darker color glass with uh, like a dark blue at the bottom, gradiating upwards to clear, just a clear kind of gray color. Uh, this one... This one is spicy to me. However, it is not spicy in the same way as Declaration, the original. The essence, and I'm also pulling up the page for it on Fragrantica. This appears to be primarily vetiver, tea, and geranium. I find this to be really spicy. And I can see it has a little bit of that inky, kind of earthy, rooty quality of vetiver. But what I get is I just get spice from this. And it's not sweet the way Cartier Declaration, the original, has that cardamom sweetness. I don't smell any cardamom in this. It's page on Fragrantica lists lemon as a note. I don't get any lemon. It also lists orange blossom. I don't get any orange blossom. To me, I just get solidly a spiced kind of smell. And it's a little too spicy for me. I blind bought this bottle. So had I known how it, that it smells the way it smells, I wouldn't have bought a full bottle of it. So I'll probably give that away at some point. But yeah, it's just, it's a very pleasant, spicy kind of smell. Unisex. Hmm. It's like a warm, if you could imagine a, uh, like a walk over like fire and someone dropped in spices into it, like brown, dry spices. And then the heat under the walk is warming them up and you're pushing them around with a sp like a wooden spoon and it's getting more and more aromatic. That's what I think of with declaration essence um so yeah pretty spicy 
It also has lavender in it. I don't really pick out lavender in this. It has sandalwood as a note. I can't tell if I'm getting any sandalwood from it though. Yeah. So that's Declaration Essence. And the next one that I'm going to talk about is Declaration Dune Soir. So now we are kind of changing gears in this Declaration line. The Dune Soir, um, the two bottles from the Dune Soir, um, I guess you could call it like a subcategory of Declaration. There's Dune Soir, the regular one, and Dune Soir Intense. These are rose dominant scents. So I'm smelling Dune Soir right now. And I'm getting rose first and foremost. And it's a nice rose. It reminds me of uh, the more like Middle Eastern kind of rose and oud combinations. This sort of does smell like that, like a um, like a rose oud combination. But there's no oud in this. But it has uh, black pepper, cardamom, caraway, nutmeg, sandalwood. So maybe those notes together are giving me oud but maybe it might be the rose because the rose is that kind of rose that you would smell in more uh, middle eastern kind of perfumes it is in my opinion like a wet cold rose a dewy wet cold rose uh and you know maybe i'm thinking this way because of the bottle design which is like darker and silver and like dark blue but I'm getting like a wet damp kind of rose it's well done um, I'm very particular about rose scents so I this one doesn't really hit it out of the park for me but I can see why a lot of people like this perfume and yeah i just get i guess you'd call it like a spicy rose perfume the cardamom in this one does not smell like the cardamom in the uh the original declaration perfume i'm not getting that sweetness from this but it is a cool a cool uh like evening time kind of rose and i can see this definitely working for both men and women the next declaration i'm going to talk about is cartier declaration dune soir intense so this one this one it is I'm getting a lot of powderiness from this one. This one has pink pepper in it. The regular Dune Soir does not have pink pepper. But I don't feel like I'm smelling pink pepper. It has this uh, powdery note in it that I'm picking up on. And the rose is not as distinct. So where Dune Soir, the original, I would call, you know classify as a spicy rose, Dune Soir Intense is more just kind of like a powdery floral scent. I don't really like it, to be honest. I don't like this one. But I don't like powdery scents in general. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, 
I can respect it, but yeah, I just, it's not my style at all. Hmm. Fragrantica says it's a woody floral musk. I guess that's fitting. Hmm. It is kind of woody. I can see that. But primarily I'm hit by a powdery, a powderiness in this one. And like I said, the rose is not very distinct. It's not, it's not spicy. So that is the Dun Soir Intense. Lastly, I am going to talk about Declaration, uh, the Parfum version of the original. That one it is, I don't have any, um, I have a small decant of it and I cannot find it. So I'm just going off of my memory, but that one, it is very, it's a very rich, warm, spicy scent. And uh, I've seen reviews uh, online raving about it and I can understand why. It's not my cup of tea because it is, you know, the Cartier Declaration, the original, is spicy, but that is amped up a lot more in the Parfum. Also, the Declaration Original Eau de Toilette, this one right here, ouch, um, that is, it's more of like a cool, like a cooling sort of spice to it. Maybe that is coming from the green of the cardamom. And, you know, when I think of cardamom, I think of... I don't know why, but I think of more of like a cooling sort of spice note to it. Um, more fresh. In the Parfum, it is much warmer and concentrated. So it's exactly as you would expect it to be. Um, the Parfum versus the the original. So, I guess I will say, to sum up this video, if you are wanting a spicy fragrance from the Declaration line, I would go with De Cartier Declaration, the original. I would go with Declaration Essence, and I would go with uh, declaration Eau de Parfum. If you want something more refreshing, I would go with Declaration Low. This one right here. Uh, my favorite from the line. Like I said, it's not as distinct as the original, but I find it to be the most wearable and I, I do in enjoy it a lot. If you were trying to go for something more romantic, I would go for uh, Cartier Dune Soir or Cartier Eau de Parfum. I, I don't know where I'd fit in Dune Soir Intense. It is, it's just kind of like a it's sort of bizarre to me, and I don't see how it fits in the declaration line at all. I guess if you wanted to smell like a like a grown up ballerina, then you can do Dune Soir Intense. Because when I think about it, when I smell it, I think of kind of like a pale pink floral with uh, like a dry pale pink floral with an indistinct rose 
or uh, indistinct floral laced through it and some dry woods. So yeah, if you want to smell like a 45 year old ballerina, Dun Soir Intense might be the right one for you. Um, yeah, so that is my review of the Declaration line. Uh, it is a great line. There's some really unique scents from this line. In my opinion, the ones that I have on display for you in this video are the best. Um, but, you know, it's up to you to make that decision for yourself. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.